Good morning, welcome to Spy Money. I am showing you the coaster bot and sometimes with a prop firm it will shut off and I'm not sure why. It has something to do with um, rhythmic and I was going to pause this bot but I went ahead and let it trade one more because we had pretty good move on it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it after this one right here. See right there. It um, messes up for some reason. So, in the past, what I've done is I've run a lot of vows because um, they're cheap. And so, whenever I find a new strategy or something, I will turn them on. Uh, you can get those evals very, very cheap. And I will uh, let them run at different times and so forth and, and just try them out. Um, this is by far the best bot that I have. Uh, developed and I'll go ahead and show you this um, there's the profits for today and I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off now because it seems like that this uh, the apex is having a little issue with uh, the stops and stuff right now and it does happen especially when you have a big news event those big news events will a lot of times cause issues but so I'm gonna pause it and then I'll finish this up tomorrow but I do want to show you what it can do. Uh, on a live account, we don't have those um, disabling of the bot. It, it, does, it never happens. And, uh, but on a prop firm, it will happen. So I did pass one other one today. And uh, that one is right here. So I passed this one uh, earlier today. And then now I've got these three right here. So I could pass these and I might turn it back on later today, but we're getting close to the open. I don't like to trade the open because it gets so erratic, but um, here's four accounts. Uh, this one was all bought. It did pass it. And so this will go live tomorrow as a PA. These three, I'm going to leave all for now. Maybe this afternoon, I'll turn them back on and go ahead and pass them. They only need, you know, what, like, um, eleven hundred dollars and they can pass eleven twelve about twelve hundred dollars and then they can pass so i may go ahead and run these a little bit later today the bot itself um let me get it turned on here where you can see how it actually does work uh, let me get it open here bear with me here um so if I turn this back on, I'm gonna pause it real quick because I don't want it running. And this one right here would have been another winner. So, you know, we did win this one. I would have won this one here. There, that would have been another $400 there uh, that it would have taken. But again, we're real close to the open and with the, the way it's shutting the bot off, uh, there is an issue with the, the Rhythmic right now. So that's what I trade with is the Rhythmic. A lot of people ask about, you know, should you use the trade bait or the rhythmic? The reason I use the rhythmic is easier to get out of the trades. So if something does happen, you can go to the rhythmic trader pro and you can get out of those trades very quick. If it's trade bait, you have to log in the trade bait and then you have to click on each individual account and try to exit out all the orders. So it's much more difficult to get out of those orders as it is to get out of the rhythmic order. So you're going to have issues. And what you have to do is prepare yourself for, you know, when you are going to have issues. So if you're going to have issues, which one's the easiest to fix? Rhythmic is by far the easiest. Uh, they both have issues. Trade debate has issues and rhythmic does too. So you have to be mindful of that and know how to uh, take care of your trades. You also have to uh, just because you have a bot don't mean you turn it on and let it run unattended because you can't do that. Uh, things happen, especially with prop accounts, is you need to be there. You need to control it. And the prop accounts, uh, they have rules regarding bots. They don't want you using a bot that you just turn on, walk away, come back, and, and you're rich and you're passing any vows. You need to be here to control this bot. And as long as you are here controlling this bot, from my understanding, you're okay to run it. So if you turn this on and you're sitting here watching it and you're, you know, maybe you're adding positions or 
you are um, moving the stops and, and the profit targets and stuff, that's what they want. They want to see you trading these accounts and for good reason. I mean, it wouldn't be fair to a prop account that makes money off of resets and so forth to just find a bot, turn it on, and just let it run. So you need to be here watching this. This bot will enter the trades for you, but we teach you this strategy. And the strategy you can do manually as well. You don't have to use the bot at all. You can just turn these indicators on and manually enter where you want. What we like to do is we like to, you know, if you get some volume coming in, a lot of times manually, you'll miss that short. Maybe it's already down here before you can get in where the bot would have got you in up here. So that's why the bot is good. And it does a very good job. People are passing evals. They're trading their PA accounts. They're trading their live accounts using this very bot. Now, once you go in to the bot, the, there is a template. It's a template that I have designed and it's got the proper stops and um, uh, the take profits. And it's also got another one that I released today that has a different filter in it. It won't take as many trades, but it will, um, it'll keep you out of a lot of the bad trades. And you know, that's not to say it won't lose a trade because it, it will lose a trade. I mean, it's going to. You're not going to have a 100% win rate on anything. I don't care who you are, manually, bot, whatever. The only way you could have a 100% win rate is if you know that the market is going up and you buy in and then you put your stop so far away that it never hits it and eventually goes up. And honestly, you can't do that. That is poor risk management and we cannot do that. So this bot is, in my opinion, um, on the internet, as far as what you can find, is the best bot there is. It does a great job. I'm using proprietary bars. Uh, these are spy money bars that we're using. No one else has these bars and they work very well. Uh, and then we also have our wildfire. We use this as a filter. So in this particular case, uh, our entry would have been right here. But since we have a green wildfire, there would be no short. It was a good trade, but it might not have been. And this one over here, we have a green wildfire. Right here's the entry. And you actually watched this trade live. So that would have been a winner. Here's a winner. And this would have been the last trade. There's two trades on this leg right here. So it does a really good job. We're going to be looking for the next short, uh, probably. Now that's not to say it doesn't come down and we get a yellow bar and then we go back green. You know, it may do that. But for right now, you know, we're probably looking for a short. We got some uh, double top right here. It's getting ready to turn into a triple top. We've got our S1 there, we've got our spy money balance up here. There is a lot of resistance up here. We have VWAP, we have a spy money level, spy money level, a balance, and a S1 floor trader. So right here is going to be a lot of chop, and that's where we don't want to trade. You know, when we start getting in these levels, we just reach over and pause the bot. And that's the things that we teach you as far as how to use a bot. Just because you have a bot don't mean that you're gonna to make tons of money. Uh, you still have to know some common sense trading and that's what we teach you. And we talk about it in Discord and do different things and it just does a great job. But you know, right here was an extra trade. There's $400 that we could have taken and that would have brought us up to almost $2,000 for each um, account. And then we'd only needed a thousand, and actually I think we needed 12, so that we'd needed $800 more after this one. So roughly two more winning trades, and we would have passed those avows. So we'll, I'll probably do it later today, and uh, when I do, I will record it and see what happens. But uh, in order to get started with it, there's um, a lot of things that you can do with your money and what I recommend you to do is if this is something that uh, piques your interest and you think that you can do pretty good, if you're good at following rules, then you'll do fine. If you can't follow rules, just don't even waste your money. Uh, just, just keep it, keep doing what you're doing, because if you can't follow rules and risk management, you're going to be failing as a trader. So we teach you how to do that. We have live training that we do, most, I mean, sometimes daily, but usually about once or twice a week. Uh, depending on what's going on with my life. But we have pre-recorded trainings to let you know what to do. So on this one, you go up to spymoneyllc.com, go to the Ninja Suite. 
on this tab. When you go down here, there's going to be a little video here playing that's going to talk about what we do and what you get. Also, come down here. In order to uh, be a member of our program, you have to read and agree to this. Once you do, if you agree to it, you left click it and copy it. And then you go to the top, up to the contact us. When you go here, put in your name, your first, last name, your email, your phone number, and then right click and paste this. This creates a binding contract. That means that you agree to this. Don't just copy and paste it. I want you to understand what you're agreeing to. And if you do agree to it, one of the most important things on here is number 10. SpyBot auto trading bots are not a set it and leave it bots. You cannot turn them on and just think you're going to make a bunch of money. You can't do that. You have to know how to use them. We teach you how to use them. We talk about our levels. We talk about um, different parts of the bot. And honestly, you can, I mean, you can learn this all in just a few hours. If you're good with Ninja Trader, your learning curve is going to be much less than someone that doesn't know Ninja Trader. So if you understand Ninja Trader, how to work around it and stuff, you can be set up and running in just one guy did it in an hour and he understood how to use it. He watched a video, he turned on, you know, in, imported the bots and, and products and stuff. He turned it on, loaded the template, and away he went. The first day he made his money back that he paid on the lease. Now that's not to say that you will too. I'm just giving you one person and they did really well with it. So if this is something that interests you, then sign up. Down here at the bottom, um, there's bots that we have. We have several different bots, but really the coaster bots, the only one that you need to study. There's nothing to, I mean, I have tons and tons of videos, but you don't need to watch them. The only thing you need to watch is the one about coaster, and let's just make money on coaster. That's all you need. We have a lot of different drawing tools, add-ons. I no longer supply a copier. I recommend everybody to go to Flowbots and buy the Replicanto. And it, they do an outstanding job on trade copiers, so I no longer do this. I need to update my website. A lot of fa uh, frequently asked questions through here. Uh, no, we don't have a free trial. If you're not serious, then you know, go find a free trial somewhere else because we're looking for serious traders. I have proven products. They are working very well. People are making money every day in the Discord, and so it works. Uh, if it doesn't, um, that's not to say someone's not losing money because it happens. Um, if you don't follow rules and so forth and your risk management, then you're going to be in trouble. So just because you do this don't mean you're going to make money. Uh, you have to follow rules and such. But uh, we do offer funded accounts. As you saw, um, Apex is one that has 20 accounts. I would not trade all 20 accounts at one time. I would trade like three to five accounts at a time and just maybe have different bots running. So if you had one bot running five accounts or three or something like that, and you just run several different bots. If you run, the problem is when you try to run 20 accounts on one, there's more issues. And if there is, it's harder to control it. So it's better to have an issue with five accounts than it is 20. Uh, Blue Sky, they have a live trading account. Once you get past and get through their evaluations and stuff, they put you over on a live Ninja Trader account. So that's a plus right there, but you only get up to $100,000 worth of trading. So that would be 100 or 250s or 425s. So it depends on what you want to do there. Take Profit, we have a lot of people use them, good company. Uh, we, I don't think we have anybody using New Profit. Uh, they have some rules that I don't really care for on the live. And down here are some discount coupons that you can use to get the best discount. I know Apex, they have a one day pass now. It's 80% off. Uh, one day pass. Just use this coupon right here and that will get you that um, savings. Just click this right here and it will open up right to it and then put that coupon in and that will get you started. Apex is a good company. They, I think they try their best to make things right, but they're so big that you know they do have some glitches occasionally, but I think for the most part, they actually try to do a good job. Um, pretty, pretty pleased with them actually. And, but um, all kinds of different things that you can do. We'll go back and look at this again. 
uh, right here would have been no trade um, and that was no trade there so we would still only have these two trades here uh, look it's looking like we're gonna get a short but I'll be honest with you uh, right here at this bar closes that would be a short and actually it's already a short so it's in a short now if I'd had that turned on but again with having this s1 here and these levels up here i would not have let that take the short personally although everything else is good but when you get around these levels it will start chopping around so right there it would have taken profit right there so that there's one here two and then three so that would have been another twelve hundred dollars so if i'd have let the bot run we would have passed uh, three more valves right there but I didn't do it um, mainly because we were getting around all these levels and I just don't like to trade into those levels. I like to trade away from them. You stand a bigger risk to trade through here. But if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to contact me. You can contact us on the website. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions and get you started. So um, hope to see you in the Ninja Suite today. Have a great day.